This is Sphero 2.0. So, basically this is a toy that you can get from the Apple Store even, and on their website, which is, will be linked down below. Basically, it's not, it's not a very fast robot, I'll talk about that later, but yeah, it's Sphero. So, as you can see, it's like a ball robot, which is controlled by your iPhone, so Google buy this and then go to get a load of apps and you'll be able to control it really really nicely. I purchased this toy about a week ago, a week ago, a week ago, a week ago. in New York. I got it from a place called Brookstones. So I got this $30 extension pack which I will talk about in a bit. Basically with that all you get is just a glow in the dark ramps which are good. I won't show them in this video because that's sort of like a later sort of thing. You get a nubby case which is a white one and yeah that's kind of if you want to know what else you get in the box, go check out my unboxing. <laughs> the link will be below. In my opinion, Sphero is made for driving, education and learning. So it's not based around speed and fast and furious, all that kind of thing. It's more about teaching people about coding and programming and robots in, in general. So if you're more into driving, I wouldn't go for this one. Out of all the 25 plus apps they make for the Sphero, my favourite one has to be the original Sphero. Basically all it is is just a whole game all around Sphero. So you get missions, a name, a level, all that sort of thing that you can just complete and go through. Just like any other game you buy for the Xbox for example, or the PS3, PS4, Xbox One, all that sort of thing. But it's on your phone and it's for something that's actually real, something you can actually physically hold which completely just beats virtual reality. I also like how once you've bought Sphero, there's no extra cost, there's no hidden fees, there's no, there's about one app you have to buy, which, you know, that kind of it. There's no in-app purchases, or no like extra points, isn't it? Like when you buy FIFA 15 for the Xbox, you always have to buy players, not players, but packs, which cost coins, which cost money, that sort of thing. So yeah, there's no extra bits, it's just that, and that is amazing, basically. Unlike any other remote controlled vehicle or ball, this one is waterproof. And by that I mean you can be going to the beach with it and going on the sand because it's great in sand actually, I have played with it in the sand. It goes rolling around on the sand and then when you want to clean it off at the end, boom, into the water it goes. You might get a bit of salt on it in those little gaps there but that's not going to really happen. So if you do that, just wash it off with like, fresh water from the taps if there are there. But yeah, unlike any other one, because say if you got a race car, take it out to the beach, do a bit of drifting here and there, put it into the water, it, it breaks. So you have to put it in your car with the sand, it gets everywhere. Honestly, sand gets everywhere, like in your phones, and your speakers, all that sort of thing. Honestly, sand gets everywhere. I also like the uh, LED function that you get on the Sphero, uh, within it even. So if you uh, somehow opened it, you would see all these little LED pieces which are just amazing, you get blue, red, <laughs> there's loads of different colours um, which is very nice indeed. Uh, I also like the personalisation that you get with Sphero, so first we can call it a name, so originally I'm a Sphero Y Red Orange for Yellow Red Orange, <laughs> so Y Y R O. and now mine's called Toby, uh, it's not really a name for a Sphero. But it is in my case, and that's another part of the personalization, as well as the LEDs and all that kind of thing. Uh, I like how the nubby case allows you to go off road and in water quicker. So let's say you, you have this, throw it in the water, and then it'll go reasonably fast. It's not that fast, it's pretty slow, but it does do pretty good in the water. And then hit the nubby case on it, and it goes about, I wouldn't say twice as fast, but like 1.2. I don't know, 1.2 times faster, which is always good. Uh, and the other case is great for off-road, so you can go flying along a curb, off a curb, off rocks and the mountains, take it up Snowdon, which is the biggest mountain in Wales. And yeah, it'll be perfectly fine. Although it will be fine without it, but you would get a few knocks and crannies, maybe. Yeah. It also makes it shock resistant, uh, so as a support, you go throwing it on the floor. It would probably survive, but with another case it has an extra layer of protection, quite a few layers. And it's also pet protection, so pet proof even, so it protects it against pets. So if a dog comes over, ah, sort of, <laughs> sort of eats it, 
perfectly fine. Overall, I would recommend Spiro to anyone with similar interest in me, so to me, so like filming, you can get great videos of these, stick your camera on the floor, drift it around a few corners like I did at the very start of this video, just so leave a like for that. And yeah, if you're interested in programming, I do computer science at school, so I do all code and that. You do code with this, you could probably get a program on your Windows PC, make a few programs for it. It's very nice and programmable, which is great. That's how the actual makers made it. So yeah, you give it a try. Say if you're not into that sort of thing, or you're on about just driving and you want to buy like an 80 quid remote control car, I do actually have one. You just want to test out the speed and the driving, don't go for this. Go for its big brother, the Ollie. So yeah, I'll talk about the Ollie if I ever get one. I might get one by December, Christmas. If not before then, I'll probably do like a features and impressions sort of video. So uh, please comment below with suggestions for future videos, un <coughs> unboxings and reviews. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.